thank you for joining remote sensing and gis question and assessment series in today's question we'll see how we can able to prepare a normalized different snow index map so here you can able to see this area is covered by the glacial and snow so we can able to map that area so how to prepare this normalized different snow index that we are going to see and how to prepare this band composite image that also we are going to see so before that you need to download this landsat data set so how to download the landsat data set for that you just need to go to UHS Earth Explorer. So how to download the data set for that I have already prepared a video. I will share the link in the description box from where you can able to access this video how to download the Landsat data set. So this data set I have downloaded and this is mostly cloud free image. So you just check is image cloud free or not. For that you just click on the metadata and here you can able to see the information about the land cloud cover. So it should have a minimum land cloud cover. After that we are going to prepare and this normalized difference snow index. So normalized difference snow index using Landsat data. For that, you can able to see what band we can able to use. So here we need to use the green and SWIR, then green plus SWIR. So if we are using the Landsat 8 or 9, then we can use this formula band 3 minus band 6 divided by band 3 plus band 6. And if you are using the Landsat 4 to 7, then you can use this band 2 minus band 5 divided by band 2 plus band 5. So if you want to know what are the bands of the Landsat, then you can just go to search Google. You will get the information about the bands of landform. So just search the Landsat 8 bands. You will get the information. So now here you can able to see the bands of the Landsat 8 data. In that they are saying we need to use the band 3, that is a green band 3 that is a green and after that band 6 that is SWIR1 okay so when you will download the data set in the Landsat 8 or Landsat 9 you will see the band 3 and band 6 so these are the band 6 and band 3 so green and SWIR1 this we need to use so when you will download the data set you will see you will get this kind of file then you need to just extract this file just right click and extract the file. Once you'll extract the file, we will see the bands there. Okay. So we need to use the band three and band six. So let, I will open a new arc map here. Okay. And I will add two bands here. That is our band number three. And band number six. So I'm using Landsat 8 data set here, okay, LC08. So after adding this band, we need to go to this Arc Toolbox. In the Arc Toolbox, there is a special analysis tool, special analysis tool, in that there is a map algebra and raster calculator is there. So just click on the raster calculator. After that, we just need to select a float here, okay, just select the float. And our formula is there band 3 minus band 6 divided by again take a float then band 3 plus band 6 as you can able to see here. So band 3 minus band 6 divided by band 3 plus band 6. So we're going to calculate this normalized difference to index. For that, we are using the Landsat 8 and Landsat 9. So this formula we are using to calculate the snow index. The probability that snow is present is proportional to how close the NDSI pixel value is to 1. That is minus 1 to plus 1 range we can able to see. So let's we'll go and calculate this first. Okay. So we have selected the formula and the output locations where we want to save this file. So this NDSI is already there. I have already prepared so I will add here NDSI 3 and just click on the save option and just click on the OK. So first we'll calculate the normalized difference snow index so the process is going on. So if you click on the geo processing tool in the research sections you can able to see these things is under process. So in this NDSI if you'll go to this file here you can able to see the NDSI range from minus 1 to 0 they have shown by this green color is indicating the snow or glacial in that in place okay so our raster calculator is completed so we'll go to the process 
here. So now we can able to see this NDSI 3 is ready and we are, it is showing range in between minus one to plus one. So what we can able to do, we just go to properties, right click and properties. So we can classify this into two, two categories, okay? So like in the classify, I will select value 0 0.4, just okay. Let I will change the color, okay, apply and okay. So now we can able to see this portion is indicating the snow area. For that, we can also create a band composite, okay. So how to create a band composite, for that we can add a bands here, like we need to add our band from one to seven, okay. And after adding a band one to seven, just go and add a band that is a band one, okay. So band three, we have already added, okay. This is band two and this B3 is my band three. Then band four, band five, band six is already added and band seven. Okay, so we have added all these seven bands. Then just need to go to Arc Toolbox. In the Arc Toolbox, there is a data management tool. In the data management tool, there is a raster and raster processing is there. So we are going to combine all these bands together. So we call it as a composite band. Let will add a sequentially all the bands. So this is the B1, then B2, B3, B4. B5, then B6, B6 I have added two times. After that, I need to add a band five here. Okay, so just take it. So just select it, take it up. Okay, then just add a band seven. Okay, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7. And the output location, then I will add here composite band three and just click on the save and click on OK. So what we are going to do, we are just creating our band composite. So let the process complete, then we'll see the further process. So it will take a little bit time to create a band composite. Okay, so it is in process. So I have already prepared this band composite that I will add here, just copy and I will paste it here. Okay. So now you can able to see the same thing we have did here, what I have shown in the starting. So here you can able to see the composite band and we can change the band accordingly that. So now here you can able to see the, we can also select a band six, five, four. Okay, if you'll go, then we can select a six, five, four, apply, okay. So we can change the different, different bands. We can interpret the snow glacial index. So this way very easily, we can able to change the band composite and we can interpret the glacial and snow index. Now what we can able to do, we can calculate the area for this. Okay, so for that we can reclassify this and we can able to calculate the area. So just select spatial analysis tool. Okay, in the spatial analysis tool, there is a reclass and we can reclassify this. Okay, so the process is still going on in background. So up to that, we'll add this. So in the input raster, we need to add this normalized difference new index. So now here value is showing, okay. We can click on the classify and here we can select a two classes. Here we can change the range 0 0.4, okay. Apply, okay. So as accordingly showing here, 0.4, I'm selecting a 0.4 here, okay. So this is the threshold for the snow and glacial. So after that, we need to provide output location. I will just write a reclassify in D S I free dot tiff just click on the save and just click on okay
So the still the process when this band composite process will complete that time this process will start again. So let I will let the process complete. So the composite band is also completed. Now our reclassifier process is going on. So we have reclassified this into two classes. Okay. That snow portion and without a snow portion. So I'm interested to calculate the area for this. So after that, what we can able to do after this, we can convert this to raster to polygon. Okay. So in the conversion tool, there is a raster and from raster to polygon. And here I will select raster to poly and just click on the save and click on OK. So it is successfully converted from raster to poly. So after conversion from raster to poly, now we can dissolve this. Okay. Now if you'll see there are number of small, small polygons are there and on the base of grid code, like one and two. Okay. So you'll see there are two grid codes, one and two. So we are going to dissolve on the base of this grid code. So let we'll click on the geo processing and dissolve. So we'll add this raster to poly here then grid code. So I'll select an output locations where I want to save this file. So I will save here by the name of dissolve. Just click on the save and just click on OK. So now the file is successfully dissolved. So we'll go to attribute table and I will add field here by the name of area. So we can able to calculate the area. Add field area. I will select as a float. Okay. Then click on the select on the area, right click, calculate geometry. I will calculate the square kilometer. Okay. And now you can able to see the one is showing us the area having an glacial cover or snow cover, snow or ice cover. Okay. And the two number is showing without having an ice cover. So this way very easily we can able to calculate our normalized difference snow index. If you are having any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Our telegram group link is given in the description box. If you are interested, you can join. Thank you.